brain age, concentration training, I hope you're ready because it's time for the first of Dr. Kawashima's Brain Seminars. And the title of our first seminar? Here it is. What is working memory? Working memory is an important aspect of brain function. I've mentioned this briefly already. Now, let me give you a few more details. Working memory refers to temporary storage of information for manipulation. When I talk about memory here, I'm not referring to memories of past events, but rather information that you hold in your head for a short time. The brain function that involves this short-term use of information is known as working memory. Without realizing it, all of us use working memory in our daily lives. Let me give you some examples. During conversation, you listen to what's being said and hold the details in your head. This lets you understand the overall meaning and respond appropriately. When cooking, you hold the steps of a recipe in your head and follow those steps when preparing your meal. When playing sports, you keep track of other players' movements and react accordingly. People with a well-developed working memory can likely do all these things really well. To put it bluntly, your working memory influences how clever you are. At least that's my thinking on the subject. And of course, since I'm an expert on the brain and all, I have a lot of confidence in my own working memory. Oh!